what if this emotion is the breakdown that you're needing at a soul level to let in what is actually truth? I saw myself at the beach. It was out there on ship, but it was out in the ocean somewhere there. And I was at the beach and I couldn't get there. I started to paddle there, but I got back. On the water, there's a wave. On the water, there's a current. You know, there's a flow that you don't necessarily always have to paddle. Hi, I'm Judith. I'm a transformation coach and a business mentor from Germany, supporting visionary female entrepreneurs, those star seeds, light leaders globally, in growing their businesses for this new earth age that we are already in. My name is Claire Williamson, aka the millionaire showerwoman. I am the author of Awaken Your Miracle Frequency. It is easier than you think to have it all. I had this crazy idea of profiling the journeys of three of my clients who are also publishing their books as part of my program, the Unleashed Awakened Wealth Mastermind. When I published my book, I went through what I can only describe as a ritual of initiation to playing bigger in this way, and I realized something powerful. This is the ritual of initiation to a tidal wave of sales and opportunities. You have to step into a fire that changes every level of your being and burns your old patterns, default expectations, and all of your programmed judgments and assumptions to the ground, just like a baptism of fire. I'm joining this beautiful book project because I do believe that your business is an expression of your soul's purpose. And if we look at this new earth age that we're all entering and the way business is done is shifting, the way marketing is done is shifting, the way that we get to be who we are and express ourselves is shifting, this message and how to do this needs to get out to more people. And that is exactly what I feel this book can absolutely support my mission with. Together with these amazing other leading ladies and all together it's just a whole movement in the transformation of this world and this new earth age. You want Judith to go next? Judith, are you still yeah. working on that? Are you ready to read it? Uh, I just posted it in the group. I'm not really happy, but it's better than nothing. Let's see if we can make it happy. Go for it. Gosh, I'm crying again. I'm having a shit day. Oh, honey, it's okay. No, oh, we don't want to upset you. Can, can we help you with anything? Or you want to talk about it? You have a coach that wants you to succeed more than anybody I've ever met in my life. So, she really means that. What part of you is resisting fully dropping in to this new earth reality that you, you see it? That's just a thought coming up that it might mean, it might not, but it might mean that I need to drop the rest of what I'm doing right now. So what does that look like? I wouldn't be coaching. How does that make you feel? Scared. No, I, I would be more sharing all the things I see and I know. Recently, I felt kind of tired to walk people through these processes. What if this emotion is the breakdown that you're needing at a soul level to let in what is actually truth for you. It's that Rumi quote, you've got to break your heart 
enough times that it's finally open and when it becomes open it doesn't mean it makes sense but it's shattering the paradigm of everything you've ever believed and allowing you to step onto your path of purpose but exciting at the same time yeah mm. most, most exciting things are scary Hey, this is Judith again. It's vlog for week three and four of our book journey, Leading with Light. And it's just, oh my goodness, there's so many things going on and happening. <laughs> Challenging things, exciting things. And I just wanted to share a few insights of how that journey is going on for me. And so my chapter is all around new ways of entrepreneurship and new ways of doing business through expressing your soul's purpose, right? Because I was struggling a lot with really, is it that, that really the ideas I had for the subtitles of the chapter, if that matched the roadmap and the client journey within my world. And I thought I had to rearrange it, but then I reread it. And that was a positive thing to really come through. I read it and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so good. And it makes so much sense. So it was just around a little bit tweaking and, and twisting things a bit, but not like I had thought to kind of redo it. So that was that was a really cool thing. It got me laughing. Um, and I've already started to write a little bit on one of the topics where something was just coming through and I just let it all pour into the digital paper. That was amazing. I feel a lot of resistance coming up, which is likewise annoying and exhausting, but it's, it's a beautiful part of all these evolution journeys and the transformation that every new project and every growth step that we commit to be going through that it triggers, right? And that we get to look at. So this book project, the way we're doing it here with Claire and, um, and Lil from, from the publishing house is, is just a beautiful thing and it's different to the other two book projects I've already been in. So I haven't been worried all the time about being able to write a chapter because I know I can do that. The major resistance for this week that I identified coming up it is some pattern around, it's a self-sabotage pattern around making it hard to have it the easy way if you understand what I mean, and that is, it's really annoying, you know, I can see myself in it, like observing, and it feels so annoying to me, at the same time it feels shitty, and at the same time I'm trying to get over it and through it by allowing, because there's always a message, you know, in what we're feeling, what we're resisting, so trying to see that, so we'll see how it goes next week, keep on writing. Celebration or a gratitude or both if you're feeling it? Um, both. It's a separate step, I think. Another growth step. It's another, another evolution level that's coming through. It is. And it is. It's not fully here yet, but now I can see it. And that is what I'm celebrating. It's a really big win. And with that, having managed to, like yesterday, I had another day that the morning was okay, but the rest of the day and in the evening, it got worse and worse and worse. And I couldn't shift it to really, I was like, okay, this, it feels like real anxiety, depression, but it's going to tell me something, right? And it came somehow overnight through this morning, but like, you know, like when you're birthing something, it's like the first foot is out, but then it flips back in. <laughs> so kind of like that you want. And then this morning was hard again, but something at some point I'm like, okay, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't like all these, the silent things, the, the still things. And I put on ACDC again, <laughs> Thunderstruck, and that did something to, I don't know, it activated something, it brought something back to life. Then I went to the sauna and, and there was something else coming through, so I'm, I'm more, more seeing. And I've actually, like yesterday and today, two bird meetings, I'd say. So it's the black bird came twice today. And a robin came yesterday and the day before, like really close when I was walking. Like they don't come that close usually, but it was like that close. And it was just jumping along with me. And both are for massive transformation, massive spirituality, massive self-expression, massive, <laughs> like that kind of thing. And that is what is coming through. I think as a baseline, it ultimately is calling me to fully live the spiritual part and live the like let fully go of all the logic, let fully go of everything all like, you know, drastically. For sure. Thank you. And sometimes we shouldn't shift the feeling, you know, like 
again, it's it's without any association or stigma or whatever to these lower feelings. There's always beautiful illumination in them, and you know sometimes we don't want to shift them at all. We just want to allow them and come right, through. But even that, even that didn't work yesterday. I usually, you know, when I even that, I was like my whole. I could not. I haven't had anxiety like that in ages. Like everything in my body was like this, and I, I couldn't make it let go. Not with warmth. Not with moving. Not with breathing. Not with just being. Not with. I don't know. It was, but that's what I'm saying. It won't necessarily go. The only thing that I could do is just let it be exactly the way it was. That yeah. sometimes is what we and and it can be extended and prolonged. And again, as soon as association and meaning comes in, I'm I'm in a funk. Oh God, what if there's no light at the end of the tunnel? Again, it's all bullshit. Yeah. All emotions are come in waves. They all come in waves, and you just gotta ride it. <laughs> and that was one of the fears, the top layer. But I couldn't find, I wanted to find what was underneath the fear to mm. get to the emotion, to just allow it to be felt. I love where your hands are, though. Look look at where your hands are. Like, they're, yeah, they're here now. They're here, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah, trusting the process. I went to the bachata class today again, and then mm -hmm. she's like, okay, how do you think you will express emotions? Like, for me, my first answer in my head was like well of course through my eyes my face and words but obviously as a dancer she's like through your body <laughs> and that brought just tears to my eyes because i realized that was the way that i had completely not learned because it was blocked because i it wasn't allowed because it was you know that was the part that was cut off that was really emotional to let that to have that realization and to let that go and with that realizing how my body is learning, like relearning bit by bit, it's really baby steps and I see them. And at the same time, that is exactly what you say. I feel that even without the dance, you know, outside the class, like my hands and my arms start moving in a different way. I'm starting to use them with energy and with all of that in a different yeah. way than before. And that creates a different, creates different effects if you want. If there is an identity growing from you right now, if there is another level of leadership, if there is another level of alignment, if there is another level of power, what does that look like because you are going through this situation right now? I was like so much in this, finding this, what is the position, like everything marketing if you want, marketing offer that space, sales somewhere in the side, have stopped the level that I had before on owning like the finance parts the um that dawned me this morning like even really showing up and owning the whole thing I'm doing as a business you know I was in there all the time but there was so much focus on this I was so busy with my own transformation and everything that was happening you know, that I said several times across the last month that I feel like I'm not getting back into the energy of like really just getting stuff done, but not from the hustle, but really in the in the I'm present, I'm on it, I'm owning it, it's mine, like that. Is there any residual memory of this side of you, this side of your energy operating in a way that has led you into dark places? that has led you into places in the past that you wouldn't want to go to in the future, that potentially is still sitting there and restricting the power of your masculine to help you to show up. To say no, and at the same time, I feel my body is reacting, but it's been reacting all the time. I can't see right now yet where that is coming from, if that is coming from the masculine or if that is something else like anything like emotional stuff my dad is popping up he doesn't understand what i'm doing that's weird he's like it's like he's trying to you know he's constantly moving a little bit forward and then backward are you able to shift into his energy and see how he's experiencing you he's afraid he's terrified it's like he's torn in between the he wanted to be there for me and provide that safety, but he couldn't. He says, 
he wants to be f there for me now. But he doesn't know how because he doesn't understand me. He doesn't he feels for him so far away. Like he can't access me. And where I'm moving for him doesn't feel safe. Well, this is a bit hard. Like I feel like I want to tell him that I'm his little girl and at the same time I'm a grown woman. But there was really, there was hesitance to say I'm your little girl. Because there was on my end the I'm not trusting this fully coming up. The whole right side of my body is <clears throat> tensing up again. Mm. If you don't mind me saying as well, the left is also strung up. Yeah, it feels like it needs to protect. What is the truth? Hi everyone, so this is week five in the book project Leading with Light and I'm gonna tell you this is crazy. I'm likewise excited but I'm like literally a little bit, well not freaking yet but getting a little nervous. I have not started really writing beyond the outline for the chapter, right, and my, my talking points because that is the positive and the exciting part of it. There's so much going on inside so I'm finding yet more and more levels of clarity. Yesterday we had a call with um, the publisher, so, so nice people, so helpful and so appreciative. I described it as like, it feels currently like every day I'm downloading information, I'm getting more clarity, I'm, I'm so connected to the galaxy, to the universe and my inner knowing, my soul, that like every day more information and new things are channeling in, which is, it's filling, you know, it's just all the puzzle pieces are coming together so that this huge thing talking about the new way of business, this new earth way, what does it actually mean to feel and sense and partially live in this fifth dimension world, right, where we're so super conscious and aware, um, we're sensing so many things, but then what does it actually mean to bring this back down into business here in our world? Essentially it is, it makes me smile a lot, because essentially it is exactly what I'm talking about in my business, what I'm teaching people, what I'm coaching people through, right? Because it is finding that way of expressing what is your soul's purpose. Bye, I see you next time. I have this two-fold question again. <laughs> so it is, we might end in like a process, I'm not sure, and probably it will lead to the business solution for today. <laughs> As they do, I've yeah. <laughs> So I found myself, now it's a bit better, but this morning, and I did the breath work this morning, I found myself really struggling, and I don't know what I should be doing. And likewise, I'm not sure what I'm blocking so that I'm always taking myself back to wherever. I've come so far as never, and now I'm supposed to tear it down again. Like, why? I saw, why I was so afraid of having the success because there was there was one experience from a past life and the rest was all coming through collective babies having been cut out of the womb for like decades and ages and you know you birth something and you lose it right away because somebody's taking it and then I could trace it back to all my life you know every time Sports was a good example, as my parents tried to bring me into like five million different sports things. So it's like, she's gotta be good at something. Same in school, I was never sucking at anything, but I never got good at really, you know, I was always average plus a little bit. But there was never anything was like, I'm really good at. Like the vision board thing this morning, it gets the same pattern, you know? I saw myself at the beach, it was out there on ship, but it was out in the ocean, somewhere there. And I was at the beach and I couldn't get there. I started to pedal there, but I got back. And I'm like, I've shifted so many things. I've changed so many things. I've let go of so many things. Like, what more? What if the new beginning, what if you are seeing the sign around the new beginning? 
through the lens of before instead of a new way of new beginning. Because where you go or where you don't go or won't go is to just stop paddling, you know, to just sit and to be. On the water, there's a wave. On the water, there's a current, you know, there's a flow that you don't necessarily always have to paddle to move. Just wait and see, you know, just allow. Are you resonating with Judith's story unfolding? I would love to hear what you are resonating with down in the comments. And if you are enjoying this documentary, A Baptism of Fire, subscribe at the button below and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on finding out whether their stories have a happy ending. What if this emotion is the breakdown that you're needing at a soul level to let in what is actually truth? I saw myself at the beach. It was out there on ship, but it was out in the ocean, somewhere there. And I was at the beach and I couldn't get there. I started to paddle there, but I got back. On the water, there's a wave. On the water, there's a current, you know, there's a flow that you don't necessarily always have to paddle. Because when you rest, you open. You open to receive, right? Yes, and I've been there a lot the last days. I'm not really exactly sure what got me off. It is healing the automatic. We sometimes can't know because it is automatic. And that's why bringing awareness back to it, even if it's over and over and over again, it's just that reminder, oh, yeah, okay, there's another way. What is my new way? When you go back, you completely lose that beautiful perception of, of what actually is and the way that we see it, right? Which is, you know, your content is on fire. There's people, like I I commented today to keep the comments going because I was like, people are, people are commenting. She's bloody got this. But you don't see that when you close down. You don't, and, and then if you're not seeing it, you're not appreciating it. If you're not appreciating it, there's, there's no appreciative juju that just said, oh, we must be missing something here. We'll, we'll, we won't bother sending more in, right? It got me frustrated. I got really almost mad at myself. I'm like, what am I doing? You know, because um, it felt like the new kind of pattern to flee myself into because apparently something is still missing. And I know that this is, it's bullshit. I'm not really sure what it is. The only, the other thing I noticed is because yesterday, like in the um, breathwork session, as you kept emphasizing this, when you tap into the bliss, and I was, fuck, I was in everything, but I was not really in bliss. I still can't really get to bliss. Like there's micro moments where I feel good and there's expansiveness and, you know, I have all the connection and the vision and all of that. It just rather feels like I'm at peace. Which I'm is not sure if... <laughs> that's, Yeah, I know, it's good. That's good. I know it's that's good. good. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if this is actually still true. I don't know feeling and having joy so much more over the last 10, 15 days compared to the whole like past five years. Judith, that has to be learned too, right? Because the body has, it, it, remember, don't, don't fire it or wire it, you lose it. Feeling, we forget how to fucking feel. We have to remember how to feel, to feel safe to feel, you know? It's like, we even have to practice that, smelling the roses almost. You know, I'm sharing content daily and here and there I'm pitching the accelerator. I started sharing a bit more in the beginning of introduction who I am, but then, you know, there was two people actually in yesterday for the first time. And that's what you've got going on right now. You'll have people binging your content because you're not selling at them because it is deep. It is, you know, interesting. There's so much shit on social media right now. Like you are not shit. You're interesting. You're different. You're compelling. I think there's one part of me that is just like a angry little kid that just like, fuck, but I just want people to reach out with this. I want to work with you. Can we do this? You know, I want to come into your world. I have, oh, there's an element. I don't want to be begging them anymore to be working with me. So you get those baseline rhythms in and you just keep feeding it, but in peace and in joy and in lightness you know that it's new moon right now right so it's new intentions 
and I set my intention, I set my like vision, that affirmation that I put into the my Facebook group, that was mine. That was what I had to tell myself. You know, I, I, I danced with it, I played with it, I, I ceremonied it. And we have to do this. We have to talk to ourselves. We have to talk it up. We have to get into that mm, 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 feeling of joy and lightness, even if it is complete fucking delusion. But the more you get yourself up, the more the reality comes up to meet you, right? It's just that if you go up and then you look down and go, for fuck's sake, it hasn't moved yet. And then it just goes, <laughs> it just feels you just sabotaged it. You got to keep floating and keep finding reasons to float and keep, you know, celebrating and thanking. And, you know, it's sort of like, and this is what I'm saying. It's like a whole different in the moment experience of life, almost breathing, slowing down, experiencing, because I'm not going to play to the ego that says it's more important. I choose what's more important. It was interesting because I say all of that, but I got called out on, on a, a story today because I didn't want to go into the discomfort of doing a live video. I was like, oh, you know, I've got to, I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And the answer was, it'll take you five minutes, do it right now. And then I realized that I was sitting with the discomfort of, I don't know what to say. I won't know what. Old story, Claire, bullshit. Open your bloody mouth and the words will fall out. As soon as you catch yourself, you go into the new story. But if you sit with the bullshit, the bullshit will just keep, and you'll just be like, oh yeah, I need to like, so it's sort of like, what are your new stories? Write them down. It's like a new experience of life. You can write it out over and over again and then find that mm -mm -mm feeling in it. Of course, it's the same thing like last year and the year before and six months ago and three months ago and last week. I it's feel so like tired of it. I just want to get out of the other end. That yes. right there is a story and that's the that's the paddle, Judith. That's the like you're paddling. Whereas it's like smell the goddamn roses right now because where you are at is beautiful. Be in it. What's stopping you from experiencing it fully, even if it doesn't feel like your entire unleashed potential? Feeling confused. I want you to sit in that boat and I want you to take me to the experience that you had where it felt like what you were seeing was way out there, way out there. I want you to take yourself into the boat in vision, in feeling. It's two scenarios that are just coming in and out, in and out, interchanging. One is I'm not even in the boat, I'm standing in the be at the beach, feet on the in the water, just like a few centimeters. I'm just, I'm seeing the thing on the horizon. What's going on in your body? It's like having to give it up, like I can't have it. Do you believe that's a true story? Well, there is a part of me that does believe that. <sighs> Why do you believe that so? Something around unfair, being unfair comes up. Somebody's taking my hand and pulling me away from the beach and it's like, but I can't see who And it's like, yeah, no, no, but I want to be here. I want to go there. This is where I want to go But the other person like no, 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 come on stop dreaming It's not for you. So feeling into your Feminine power. How do you want to respond to that? It doesn't know how to respond. It goes back into this. I don't want to be dominated. And I want my needs and my wants and my wishes to be seen and heard. I don't want someone else to decide for, for me. Steady your breath. Steady your posture. Breathe up again. So connect down with the earth. In this vision, I want you to sit down on the sand. Feel the sand, feel the earth, feel the earth's energy running up through you as you breathe. Hear the sound of the waves, hear the sound of the waves, hear their rhythm, create peace and serenity. And with a completely open mind, with the curiosity of a child, look out to the horizon to place your hands on 
the waves. Imagine that just by moving your fingertips, you can bring that vision towards you. Slow up your breath, Judith. Something inside still does not feel safe to just fucking sit there and have my hands on the water. Yeah. <laughs> You've placed your hand on your heart for a moment. And I want you to say thank you for seeing and feeling the truth of this unsafety. Feel into the gratitude of seeing the truth because it's reflecting and it's stealing away the present moment. You feel ready to find safety, true safety. Feel the water. Feel the innocence of the elements, the purity of the elements, the sand, the earth, the water, the sun, the air. So continue to breathe, steady breath in and out through the mouth. Just placing your focus on the horizon again, placing your hands on top of the water. Just feel that power you have in your hands to pull that horizon towards you. See getting bigger, feel it getting closer. Back right in front of me. How close can you touch it? It's right here and I'm already... <sighs> like she got up, she grew up, it was a bigger version of her and she just stepped into it. It's like a wall, you know, it's right in front of me. It's like a wall, but like a... Like an entrance, more like a gate. What is on the other side? I don't know yet, good question. Explore this vision. You can take that entire practice into meditation when you feel the unsafety in your body. You go to the ground, you feel the sand, you feel the earth, you feel the energy, you feel connection, you feel all your senses. You bring that horizon towards you and you step in and each time you're going to explore a little further, a little deeper. Thank you. You're welcome. I've been doing all of those things all of the freaking time. I just wasn't sure, I don't know, something, whatever automated reaction pulled me that far out again. Look how quick you're coming back. This, this is new. This is the new way, you know? It's like, it's not, I'm going to fall out for weeks and weeks and weeks. It's, I'm going to fall out, I'm going to step back in. Yes. And you can, build, you can build that feeling of safety. And remember, you, you find safety in the words. Even just telling yourself, I'm completely safe. I'm completely connected. Feel this beautiful sand. Smell that beautiful sea. Feel that beautiful sun. Oh, how beautiful. Words are so powerful. As long as you're breathing into the truth of the words at the same time. One of the reasons that I've taken up skateboarding is to find the, the that five-year-old's playful trust, you know, like to know that if I move and discover and like I can fall off, but I, I'm actually okay. You can you can whether it's headstands, handstands, rolls, you know, just feel into how can I remember. That, that playfulness, the innocence, because that's where a child find, finds safety, isn't it? In absolute pure innocence. And you can re rediscover that, you can. Yeah, it's the two-year-old. I guess it's as well a lesson again of letting go of an idea of how I think it should be. Absolutely. And again, you can use affirmation. Start playing with the language of unpatterned potential, infinite possibilities. Get excited about that. 
that is when those doors are going to swing open and you're going to get the back door message <laughs> when the doors are open right yeah and i know i will find that you know those marketing questions <laughs> i'm like i know that shit <laughs> I'm teaching that shit. And the most powerful marketing comes from inspiration and you can't get inspiration when you're in your beta consciousness and your brain waves are going too fast and your body doesn't feel safe and you're in a survival pattern. You can't, you can't. Interesting how long it can take to, you know, that whole journey There's not like not complaining or not really resisting is really, it's more like, wow, interesting, you know, how many levels, how deep things go, how deeply why things can be, likewise how it can be shifted, you know, like the whole observing the whole thing. Which is why you have to sell yourself because, you know, it's starting to believe that you can be in front of somebody even who's earning a lot of money and this shit's still going on and they've got no idea how to fix it, but you do. So owning that, you know, wisdom from these rites of passage so don't be afraid to sell to them because you can move them forward from where they are <sighs> hello my lovelies it is week six of our leading with light book project what can i say this week has been really emotional for me it, is, it was the week with the deadline to hand in our chapters. I had another internal shift and up level, another piece of transformation through all of what was going on currently. There was the moon and there were several other things like inside of me wanting to come out. It had to do with another level of self-expression and writing the book has absolutely pushed buttons on that process. So no more hiding at another level more clarity on saying what I really want to say. Oh my goodness, there was resistance. It all came up. Um, then overnight, I got another download for what I'm supposed to be sharing here, like who I am at soul level. And that then I was strongly called to integrate that in the book as well. So I sat the next day and rewrote about half of the stuff. Essentially the whole business model is shifting at the moment so it is just it's a very interesting time but a really intense time and I feel a book project like this book project is absolutely contributing to pushing the right buttons I can say to to just get get the process going also the growth of the business end while we're obviously in the back end checking at okay how can we use the book as the final part and how does it connect to the client's journey once they enter our world so it's a lot of clarity it's a lot of clarity work it requires to really dive in deeper into the own processes of my business as well i sat in front of that before myself a lot of times not really knowing where to start but now it is you know there's clear things to be done every week so it's a good thing, even though sometimes it's really not comfortable to do so, or it's like, fuck, I don't want to do it. But, you know, probably when you got these things, you know, you got to do something at a certain point of time and deal with it. And just, you know, you allow yourself to get to the thing. It starts to unfold. I really, I found myself in the old pattern of shit. There's a deadline. I cannot miss the deadline because what will it mean if I miss the deadline and the old fear of failing and then being rejected, not being good enough again anymore, you know, all the stuff from the past, it creeped up, it really creeped up, and I was like, what is that? But it really got to me, and I talked to Claire this morning about it, and really just voicing it and saying as it is, and then letting it go, so that I allow myself, because I had held myself back because of that, to just hand in the chapter a bit shortened and then ask the beautiful people from um, the publishing house to support me. So it was another step in the journey to allow support when it's there anyway, right? Because communication, expression, all of that, right? And it beautifully fit in with what I'm writing about anyways around self-expression and connecting to your purpose frequency and how you can then leverage that in the new way of doing business. So yeah, that was basically my week six. And now now I just handed it in. I did it. 
I hand it in the chapter. I'm curious to get feedback on yeah, what, what else I can change or how I can shorten or well, any other feedback. <laughs>